Danes can learn a fair amount from India because you know we are an ancient civilization. We have thousands of years of history of human civilization, uh, and I think we have a certain level of spirituality and a certain tradition of peace and tolerance and faith. And in fact, uh, a great guru who came from Denmark and lived his life in India was a person called Sorensen, who called himself Shunyata. Shunyata in Sanskrit means zero, and he used to say, "I am zero." because he realized that in this large reality of the universe if we allow our egos to become the dominant force behind all our all our actions then we are asking for serious trouble there'll be nothing but clash there'll be nothing but competition for every little thing that everybody wants and that's not the way you can create a peaceful harmonious society so sorensen or shunyata as he was called was a remarkable example of a dane who came to india and he learned the essential reality of india and decided to become part of it so his life is something which i believe danes even today can learn from because he was the embodiment of this danish indian fusion of civilizations so i believe this is something that denmark can learn from india uh there may be other things also and if we were to interact with each other i am sure we'll find ways by which each of us can learn from each other terry you know is a is an organization it's a not for profit research institute based in india we've grown very rapidly we have over a thousand people working in india and in other parts of the world but we regard ourselves as a global organization and therefore i think what we can do to the benefit of both societies is to work in collaboration with danish institutions because i think it's absolutely essential that we bring our thinking and our inte- intellectual resources together and if we were to do that then clearly what will come out of such an effort is something that would be of benefit to both the societies so we regard ourselves as innovators as an organization that is looking at the future in terms of the challenges that exist and which require some solutions that are unconventional that are certainly not business as usual and i think if we can join hands with good danish organizations in working together then i'm sure both of us would learn from each other